All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a new shop in this video, but before we do that, I have to explain some of the things that have been going on here at the shop. So if you followed the last couple of posts or videos, I had told you how good Crash Champions was about making sure that we were safe before the storm, giving us enough time to get our houses boarded up or evacuate. But after the storm is when it really blew me away on how good of a company this is to work for. So all of a sudden I was seeing trucks coming in with water, food, all non-perishable items. So I reached out to somebody and they let me know about this fund in the company called the Heroes Fund. So that is a fund that you can donate to weekly or just one time or whenever you're comfortable doing it. But it is saved for this type of disaster relief. So this shop here wasn't hit that hard. But we do have shops that were closer to the coast that were actually closed down, cars were totaled. We actually had to change out mixing machines and the paint was ruined. So that is really nice to know that you have the support company wide. Not only did they take care of that, but while we were off, they took care of us and paid everyone in the area that was hurt by the storm or closed down without coming out of our PTO. So I gotta thank all the higher ups for that as well as doing this type of fun in the company. That way we have a full-time family and everyone can help each other out if there ever is a time of need. So we are gonna head on down to this shop and I think you guys will be blown away by it. I know I am. There's nothing more exciting to me than seeing new shops, new booths, and things that you could uh, just learn in the industry. To me, I love that stuff. So I wanted to take you guys and show you this beautiful shop. It is a people first company and I can vouch for that 100%. So not only was it just our location, but there was five locations in the area that were set up for the relief. And I'll leave them in the uh, screen now. You guys can see that. If you do need something still, you're welcome to head on down and pick up something, so. All right, so we're headed now down the street here. This shop is actually pretty close to our other shop, but you guys know that we're the Lux shop and we do a lot of the EVs. So that shop's gonna be more of the DRPs and it's gonna be definitely a bigger shop, so. So far, I have to tell you guys, you know, now that we're in the car, you know, I was a little worried when uh, we got bought out because I had my boss at the shop all the time. It was a family owned shop and I knew how things were because I had known my boss for a long time. So when they were uh, purchasing that shop, I was definitely concerned about how it was going to be, especially with the videos and stuff like that. So. So as soon as the crash came in and uh, we actually talked with them, I was really blown away at the mentality of that company. They weren't like some of the old school companies that I've worked for in the past that had a closed mind. And that has a lot to do with the CEO of this company. He's constantly developing his mindset. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of that. Obviously, I'm nowhere near on the level that he is being the CEO of this multi-shop operation. but. He thinks with a lot of the stuff that I'm interested in as well. So that was really awesome to know that he's constantly growing, even though he's such a successful person, he's constantly working on getting better and making this company bigger and better. About to get to the shop soon. And one crazy thing about this shop that I wanted to tell you guys was the original uh, property that this here shop was built on. This is a brand new shop. So it went from the ground up was actually a bonsai farm. And you guys, I don't know if you remember my first videos, if you're 
with me from the beginning of this channel. I did have a bonsai uh, video because I'm very much into those and it was funny they leveled that place and now this shop is actually on that property that I used to go to all the time and check out the bonsai tree so it's almost like it was meant to be and now I'm a part of Crash Champion so there is still some stuff I'll show you guys that was there before when it was the uh, nursery so we're getting to it now all right so we made it and look at the size of this building just look down that and I'll, obviously we're gonna try to get inside there they're not open all the way yet. This is not ready for people to come in here and start working or even to have anybody's car repaired. I wanted to get you guys here before this shop is up and running. That way if there's any body techs, anybody that wants to work in the front office, any painters, you guys will have a chance to get here before this shop is up and running. Because to me, this is gonna be one of the top shops in the area, obviously to work. Yes, it is an AC shop, and it is phenomenal inside. Wait till we get in there and I'll show you guys how beautiful this place is. So we're sneaking in. Hopefully they're gonna let me in here. They do see the Crash Champion shirt on, but this isn't open to the public yet. We've got guys in here just getting this shop up and running. But look at how big this shop is. And I'm gonna take you guys in the back and show you some of the cool stuff that was here still from the last uh, nursery like I had told you guys on the way in. but. There's a door back here. It looks like these guys are probably doing some of the uh, booth or maybe getting the air condition ready. But we're going to try to sneak in. Hopefully we're not kicked out. And uh, we'll be able to show you this shop because to me, I'd want to know about this before this opens. That way I could try to get in this shop and actually work here because this is going to be phenomenal. All right, guys, check this out. Tell me what, is this phenomenal or what? Look at the size of this place almost ready to be done i didn't even know they had the lights on yet but they've got the booths in place you guys know that crash champions rocking the gar mats and i'll tell you what this place is insane look at these booths looks like we got the double one like we have down the block this is nice ain't it wow man this really really excites me to see this kind of stuff knowing I'm a part of it being that this is going to be the crash champion so check this place out this one's even got the fans up in the top that way it'll dry that waterborne really nice and cure it up nice that way you do not have any die back but man there's nothing like a brand new shop a brand new booth and something that's never been sprayed in so you know I'm going to definitely try to get down here when this place opens I've talked to the area managers and uh, they've said they'd let me come down here and help out for sure before this shop is running and before they get a lot of guys in here because it's gonna take time to build this place up being as big as it is. So that's the double wide booth. And then check this out. They've got the big truck booth in here. You guys remember me spraying in that other one that was a Crash Champions that we did that big Rivian in. So this is the giant truck booth. It's got the fans in it as well. Brand new, smelling good. Nothing's been done in here. So it's crazy to me to see this type of stuff. And uh, I love it. So this one here, will be able to do the big Rivians in it that we can't do at our shop because we just have that small booth in it. So this will do big trucks. Then you'll come over here. You've got your mixing room in it. This will be all set up with I'm sure the 100 line. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the uh, camera right now, picking up a black line in it, but there's nothing I can do about that. So we'll just have to deal with it for now. But check out this booth here. This is gonna be just a single, but this one actually looks like it's longer. So I don't know if this is something special, but it does seem like it's awfully long. And this one has a double wide pit. A lot of the booths that you see that are down grass, have just that single setter pit in them. This one has a wider pit, which means there's not gonna have as much area around the outside for dirt because you're gonna have more filters, which will obviously not have anything built up in the corners as much, especially when you have just that center pit. So we've got this one over here and then we'll go around and this one has the fans in it as well all built into the booth. It's cool to have like a drive shaft up in the top. Let me see if I can extend this camera. 
but you see that drive shaft? It comes out of the roof, and then it comes down and hits, hooks up to that fan. So a cool thing, they had to do that also to extend it down through the top of the intake of the booth, and that way that rod is long enough to come down and hit it. So I'm telling you what, this is gonna be the place to be. I'm not sure yet how they're gonna lay it out, where they're gonna put the body men. If this is the paint shop, I'm not sure. I'm sure they have some type of a plan for how they're gonna wanna stage this because you got the booth here, and then you got this area here that you could do work in. And then this up here looks like the office. They've got their chairs already, and uh, they must be pretty close to getting this place up and running. So we will be back to do some videos here for sure. You guys know I'm not gonna ever pass up the chance of coming down here and shooting in some of these nice spray booths. But let's see what's going on up here. Maybe they've got something we could check out. It looks like the bathroom and uh, maybe like the janitorial closet room to do the mop bucket and stuff like that. But little water fountains. Let's check out the office if this is open. So this here is the front office. Really beautiful. Check out these tiles on the wall. You guys know I'm into the house stuff. I couldn't have picked a better one myself. They got the floors covered up. I'm not sure what's on that. Looks like the tile that's in the bathroom. And then they got all these areas in the back set up for all the estimators, I'm sure. Look at this nice wood door. Wow, that looks beautiful. All shellacked. They're not playing around, I'm telling you. Crash Champions does it right. From the moment they took over that shop, they haven't played any games, they've done it right. This looks like it's gonna be some type of a conference room, maybe a break room. It's got sinks in it, all wood doors. Look at this. Man, this is better than I even thought because I had seen it before they did a lot of stuff, but I was waiting to come back and show you guys this place. And uh, we're just heading out now from the office, back outside to the shop. And then this will be set up here for the body men. They got all their air hoses in. All the uh, stalls have outlets in them, obviously, for the body men to put their tools or the painters. And uh, just check this place out. But it's got the fully AC pipes running in the whole shop. And then I don't know what's going on down here in the back. It looks like this might be the parts department. But look at these booths. Man, this is a painter's dream. All LED lights up in the top. Looks like they have some type of venting up top even just to maybe let out some of the air later. And this booth here looks like it's almost done. I don't know what this is. It looks like another makeup unit that they have. I'm not sure where this is going. But they got all the Tsunami. You guys know they run the Tsunami. We switched ours out to the Sada over there. Everything's gonna be top of the line. All the heat. This here is where the heat comes in the water for the uh, fire suppression and all that stuff but we'll check out over here see if we can sneak in it looks like they're doing some more work but I want to see if this is the parts department and then I'll take you guys around back see if they got the compressors up yet I'm not sure there's another little office here with the AC, looks like it's for the parts guy. So parts guys too, if you're looking. It's another area, probably for supplies. And then this here might be detail. Look at his detail setup. I'm not 100% sure if that's what this is gonna be, but this might be the detail area. It looks like it is actually, because I see they got the uh, drains in the floors and the floors are actually concave for the water to run out. So this is gonna be phenomenal for the detail guys. Look at this, they got the power doors, all electric, up top. The drains, AC, and everything for detail guys. I mean, if I was a detailer, I'd be uh, putting my name outside on the window in this place trying to get in here, because this is beautiful. But let's go outside real quick. I wanted to show you guys real quick the uh, area that was here from before that I really love. There it is, check out those bamboos. So I actually know the owners of this property before, and this was here 
when they had that bonsai farm this was one of the beautiful bamboos that they had it looks like it's gotten beat up through the storm here but look at the massive timbers on that thing that's some of the most beautiful stuff to me is bamboo i love it but look at how nice and how big those timbers are for bamboo and there's even a lake behind this place so not only is this going to be beautiful for uh, the shop, but just look at the scenery in the back of this place. Back there's that lake. If you, if you see it, I don't know how good this camera's working, like I said, but they got all the cypress trees, the lake, and uh, just beautiful. There's another cluster in the back of the bamboo. But it was funny, like I told you guys, I used to walk around. This place to me is going to be the place to be if you're in the area to get work done or our shop if you got the Lux EVs and uh, even for you guys looking for a job I told you Crash Champions has been phenomenal since they took over and I think that's gonna be my place to probably retire you guys know I'm in my 40s I'm looking to do about another 10 good years in this trade and if everything goes right we'll finish it out with Crash Champions so Check out this place one more time. Look at how big it is. I'm not sure how many body men they're gonna have. It looks like they got one stall, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Maybe 10 body men along this wall. And then do the painters over here in this side. And then running these two, these two booths here. And then this double wide booth over here. To me, a 10 body man shop could definitely produce a lot of nice work and uh, they're gonna have to do it to fulfill this size shop so I told you before Crash Champions isn't playing any games obviously you guys see that now in this here shop so I hope you guys like this video I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on here with Crash Champions letting you know how good they are not only as a company but how nice of shops they're building yes they do have some older shops that they buy but that's just how it is when you buy something that's already there they'll try to fix it up make it better but they're putting up these brand new shops so if you're in the area of a crash champions and you're looking for work go in talk to somebody or get online and check them out i hope you guys like this video and we'll see you guys in the next one